You know, I was just thinking how it would be if everyone had a personal soundtrack playing in the background of their lives. Wouldn't that be something? Imagine just walking down the street and walking on sunshine starts to play out of nowhere when you get that gorgeous caramel latte from the new cafe around the corner. Seriously, if I had to choose a soundtrack for myself, smooth jazz, blues, a wee bit of indie, that'd be my vibe. Wonder what's yours, though, anyways. Had a day full of color today. So, I decided to give 3D digital art sculpting a go. No kidding, it's super cool. Ran my hands through virtual clay and everything. Oh boy, the feels are so surreal. I mean, it's sort of like that pottery scene from Ghost, except way more techy and less romantic. Speaking of the project, I ended up creating an immersive VR installation that's inspired by the New York skyline. Just imagine, standing smack bang in the middle of Manhattan, surrounded by a panorama of the city's breathtaking skyscrapers, without even needing to step outside. Tech really does make art versatile, huh? It wasn't a walk in the park, though. The details of the NY buildings are so intricate. I mean, even replicating them in VR is daunting. My buddies, Lucas, Emily, and Carlos, seemed way too excited about it in the group chat. Lucas, especially, is eager to see that VR version of the New York skyline. Oh, speaking of the group chat, Carlos mentioned some new EP from Porcupine Tree, full of crazy guitar solos, so you know I'm absolutely checking that out. You should too. Good music and good art always go hand in hand, right? Let me know which track is your favorite. To be honest, even with all these bustling innovations and crazy schedules, playing my guitar always helps to mellow down and tap into that artistic side. Maybe I should squeeze in a quick session after work today. You know, playing that guitar workshop today was something else. We merged AI-generated music with human compositions during the workshop. It was like tech and art danced and made sweet music. Of course, there was a bit of stage fright at first, but nothing a little tuning and strumming couldn't fix. And you remember Chris, right? That music enthusiast at the workshop? Well, he was quite bewildered by the whole AI music combination. I guess people are just starting to get the idea of AI and music together. Honestly, I am just so pumped to see tech intertwine with various elements of life even music. Imagine training an AI using our favorite song collections, and voila, we've got our personalized ballads ready to jam to. Our girl Emily. She asked me about the plan. Can you believe it? M thought we just winged it. I get it. The way we breezed around might have looked spontaneous. But you know us. We had every detail mapped out. The part when we juxtaposed AI with the human creations kind of blew their mind. The best part was seeing people's reactions to the twists and the tunes. It's like one moment they were bouncing to the beats, and the next, they were standing still, all awestruck with the AI transition. Some were outright amazed, a few looked shocked. And then there were some who looked a tad scared, as if they saw a ghost or something. And guess what happened in the group chat? Carlos started a discussion about AI pop stars. I think Lucas may have nightmares tonight. Emily was just laughing at the idea of perfect pitch AI idols. We then eased into winter tales, Netflix recommendations, and even planned a LA versus NY snowball fight. By the way, Carlos recommended Midnight Mass for winter Netflix binge. Sounds creepy enough for cold winter days, right? I put forward you. Season 3. The new season seems a roller coaster. You might want to squeeze it between your Stranger Things reruns. Did I tell you that I am organizing an AI art event next week? Yep, Tech Art Fusion, the new rave. I am excited to see how that comes around, blending the rigid lines of technology and the fluid motions of art. Perhaps a healthy debate on this with our university mates, just like the good old days? What say? Lucas was right. Anyone remember that time when we had to do a group presentation last minute in uni? It was one of the most nerve-wracking experiences ever. But guess what? We crushed it just like we always do. (laughs) Haha. It got me thinking, you know, 
That's just how life hits us sometimes. Unexpected situations just pop up and we gotta improvise. And speaking of improvisation, I organized this super productive think tank session at Click AI today. It was all about leadership and crisis management, two essential areas we need to address, considering how fast-paced and dynamic our tech startup atmosphere is. Madison and Lucas were part of the session. And let me tell you, the brainstorming was intense. We explored the unique leadership challenges in tech. Trust me, it's a whole another playground. With tech advancements happening every second, we have to be perpetually on our feet. Reflecting back on our uni days, it's crazy how much we've grown and how much our perspectives have changed, right? I mean, who would have thought? The same chick who used to play guitar at house parties is now conducting high-level think tank sessions. Amazing, isn't it? And speaking of our uni days, our group chat was total throwback mode today, reminiscing about how we tackled presentation crisis back in the day. It was hilarious. Carlos linked it to some form of AI apocalypse at Click AI. Classic Carlos. Well, we also ended up joking around about how even our AI might quit unexpectedly. Emily quipped about how this is why the human touch is necessary, especially in crisis management situations. Gotta give it to her. She was spot on. Oh, and this weekend, we're planning on a Graphic Lies Marathon. Honestly, I can't wait. Binge-watching that show is like diving headlong into a twisted masterpiece. Guess what else we stumbled upon? The World Rock Paper Scissors Championship. I'm not joking, it's a legit thing. Maybe that's what inspired Carlos to suggest making an AI that can win RPS. Who knows? Perhaps I will take that up as a side project, or maybe... I'll suggest incorporating that in our next fun icebreaker session at work. It's bound to be a lot of laughs. Narzinan Turner. Well, with all this buzz of the day, I am feeling pumped, and I think I'll whip out my guitar for a bit of my tune therapy. It's essential musically to wind down after a long day, don't you think? Okay, I am hopping off now. <laughs>